Hello and welcome to Success Tips Global. It's June the 3rd, 2023, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Miss Lin Jiang, who is going to share something about her life journey. Welcome to Success Tips Global. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Great. <laughs> so my first question is, uh, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in a coastal city in the northeast part of China. It's called mm. Dalian. Okay. And uh, what should people know about Dalian? Uh, the seafood was amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. The food okay. is amazing and uh, the weather is good. Mm -mm -mm. And then uh, when you were a child, what kinds of activities were you involved in? Well, actually, my parents are kind of the, you know, the regular Chinese parents. They were kind of strict. I didn't do much when I was a child, but I like mostly just a focus on my study. And but I did do about six years volleyball. Oh, wow. OK. Yeah. And uh, in terms of school, how much schooling did you have uh, in Dalian or in China as a whole? Uh, I did my primary uh, from my primary to uh, year 12 in okay. China. Mm. OK. And uh, before you, you came to Japan, I understand you went to another country. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, I went to Australia. OK. So <laughs> please tell me about your experience in Australia at that time. Yeah. OK. So. So the, the reason why I choose Australia just because by the time I wanted to go somewhere that wasn't China. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, That's it. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, uh, like I said just now, my parents are kind of like a straight. straight okay. So I just want to, like, I just want to be away from them. Okay. So, so but, but did I, you know anybody in Australia before you went? No, I didn't wow. know anybody. Okay. And uh, which uh, part of Australia did you go to at that time? It's in the south, in the south called Mel Melbourne. I went okay. to Melbourne. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, when you went there, what did you do? Did you go to school or did you work? What was, uh, what was the plan? Um, I did my foundation year and my uh, my, my, uh, my, my bachelor degree there and then after that I started that fashion label with my with my friend. Okay. And uh, what did you major in? Uh, I major in marketing. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so then if you were doing okay in Australia, <laughs> what brought you to Japan? <laughs> because I didn't do okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do like the the like yeah we we were like we were young we didn't really have much experience on like running a company okay. and it didn't go quite well and so we just did like decided to to like to shut it down and oh, then I, I moved back to China and worked at for two years then. I just feel like um probably I want to go I still want to go around and watch and like to see the world okay. and then I decide to go somewhere that's not that far like like a 12 or 10 minutes or like a 10 hours flight from okay. China so that's why I choose Japan mm. but because before coming to Japan did you know anybody here uh yes from my uh my my high school like but I just like I just know them, but not like a like very close with them. Okay. Mm. And uh, when you first came to Japan, what did you do? I went to language school. Oh, cause, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I, I I spoke no Japanese at all. Mm. Like when I first came here. Well, I've heard that uh, because you can write kanji, studying Japanese was easier. Is that true? That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. I I mean, so I, I think typing is like uh, when you talk online, when you're writing emails, like it, it's kind of okay. So you can just use like a translation applications or you, like, 
by the kanji is you can just guess the meaning. Okay, okay. But when you talk, even they speak something really close, like like even talk about the kanji that you know,、mm. but you don't. You you actually the pronunciation is quite different from Chinese. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So it's like for me, I think Japanese is a lot harder than English. Okay. Have you taken any of the Japanese language、uh, test? Yes, yes, I、uh, I tried several times、mm. to get M one, and last year, oh, last year or two years ago, I finally got it. Like I finally got M one. Congratulations! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I tried. I, I tried like four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> so you are persistent, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of money. <laughs> Okay, so、uh, from the beginning of your、uh, coming to Japan, what kinds of jobs have you done in Japan?、Uh, the first time, no, like my first job here, yeah, like a a, a PR assistant、oh. in a tourist company, but it was in two thousand nineteen. So where when the the corona just started,、oh. so like after. <laughs> After half a year, and I lost my job. Oh, I see. Okay.、Yeah. Okay, and in that job, were you using English and Japanese, or just Japanese? Uh, I use all my three languages. Oh wow! But inside the company, I use Japanese, and then with my client, I use English and Chinese. Oh, fabulous! Okay, so I know you did attend a business school in Tokyo. Why?、Oh. Did you, <laughs> why、yeah. did you decide to attend the business school? I think、uh, business is the. It's not like a math or other like a, a fit, like like it changes. It changes by time. So I did want to、uh, like go business school in Australia, but I also want to know the difference,、mm. like here in Japan. And I also want to know, like, because I I like work several years after I graduated from business school. I just want to know, like, see what is going on in the、mm-hmm. academic area. Okay. So, what are some of the subjects you studied at the business school? Oh, actually, if, if you remember, <laughs> of course, marketing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Marketing and then.、Um, What uh, what what uh, uh, courses did you find very useful in what you do now? Some people have mentioned the Japanese manners and all that. Did you find that useful? Well, Japanese manner is is kind of like it's、uh, it's a plus, but it's not that helpful. Oh. Because Japan is, you know, Japan is like a short of like stuff now.、Okay. So I think they kind of adapt to、uh, like foreigners. So、mm-hmm. they don't. I I think they don't really care that much about manners. Okay. You know?、mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the. Wow. Maybe. Like business Japanese. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And、uh, how how easy or difficult was it for you to get a job after you left the school? Well, it was it was pretty difficult because、mm-hmm. by the time I came here, I already spoke two languages, like which is like the most common business language in the world, but I didn't speak enough Japanese. Mm, okay. And it's it like my language skill is a really like a big advantage here. But as long as you don't speak enough Japanese, it's pretty hard. Okay, okay, okay.、Yeah. So that's why you were pushing so hard to get the N one, right? Yeah, and also I just feel like I'm since I'm here, <laughs> since I'm here, I got to. To master the language.、Mm-hmm. Okay, great. So, where in Japan are you currently based? I'm living in、uh, Kanagawa, but I work in Roppongi. Okay, and、uh, what exactly do you do now? How would you describe your current job?、Um, I'm taking care of the sales of the global markets. 
Mm. And I work in the uh, entertainment industry. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. we have some rules, so uh, I cannot like see too Give much. details. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. But what do you like about your job as far as you can say? You don't have to go into details. Yeah. Um, it's a start a startup company. Mm -hmm. uh, so like a lot of our, I think like like 70, 80 percent of our, our staff are like under 30s. Mm, okay. like, I, I enjoy working with young people. They, they are creative. They, they don't really care. Like they, they, they're not so old school as regular mm -hmm. Japanese. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what are some of the challenges? Sorry. Any, uh, any any difficulties? Anything that is particularly challenging for you? Um, I got no experience. Like I got no experience in this industry and in mm. this field mm. before I joined. So it's kind of like hard to pick up the uh like this, uh the professional like professional like uh, terms and. In, yeah, and like we, you, you got to deal with a lot of like a, like Discord or Slack or mm -hmm. the kind of like an application I never used before. Oh, I see. Okay, what about interactions with uh, other people? Is it easy or difficult? Like you mean from our talents or? Yeah, uh, just uh, like dealing with your own colleagues, communication. Uh, I think. They are like all pretty, pretty like easygoing people. Like whenever I have some like some problem, I just came to them, like ask them questions. They always help me out. Mm. So okay. I'm happy with my colleagues. Okay, have you had the chance to travel around Japan? Uh yes, I've been to uh several uh cities in Japan, but not all. Okay. Like I enjoy Kyushu mm. and Osaka. Okay. And what is it about Kyushu that you enjoy? The food. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I travel for food. <laughs> okay. What kinds of food do they have there? Seafood. I remember I had the kind of like a sweet. Mm. The it was like it's almost transparent. It okay. was so fresh. Mm. Wow. And yeah, if you're going to Kuma, uh, where we're at Kyushu, mm -hmm. uh, please try it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in Japan, everybody works hard. What do you do for fun? Well, I cook. Okay. I cook a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, I, uh... Actually, I also want to start my own channel, like a cooking channel. Okay, great, yeah. great, great, great. Do you specialize in any particular types of food? Yeah, like Chinese, like Chinese. And now I'm thinking uh, I'm more willing to try Southeast, like Southeast Asian food. Right, right, right. Great. Okay, we are almost towards the end. What <laughs> advice would you give to someone from China who wants to study in Japan? Uh, okay, for Chinese students, like mm -hmm. if you come to Japan, like most of people choose to study in the language school first. Okay. And I think a lot of people fix or kind of settle their uh their friends mm -hmm. when they are in language school. So my suggestion is, I got to like make more friends outside school. Okay. You got to make more friends, especially outside the Chinese community. Right, right, right. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. gonna help with their like language skills. Great. And then looking at your own life journey, what advice would you give to young people who are not sure about what they want to do with their lives? Wow, so I always believe that you only live once. Mm. Like, if you're not sure, just try everything you want to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, and then finally, is there any message? Is there any uh, anything that I didn't ask you that you want to say? <laughs> well, I think that's pretty much your. Okay. Your. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time. I know yeah, you're a busy you. woman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye for now. Okay, bye bye.